So Thomas, we got some good news. Uh, step one is complete. We do. I, uh, I qualified for the National Club Pro Championship. I didn't win the Minnesota section event. I finished tied six in the top eight get through, but mm -hmm. the goal was achieved. That's the, that's the sigh of relief, relief at least, anyway. Yeah, so, and I, I have to say, for the viewers, we started this series before this was played, knowing you had to finish top eight, which is tough to do, uh, in the Minnesota Club Pro Championship, and you go out and do it. So, I, now, I mean, I don't know if this is on your mind or not, but I know you have your own goals and you're very, um, you know, you, you strictly follow and try to accomplish those goals. So kudos to you for doing that. Um, and I know we were watching and following along kind of on the live leaderboard on the Minnesota PGA website and tracking everything. And you were just hovering right around kind of that, that eighth place spot most of the two days. So we were kind of, it was nervous for a while. Yeah. It was uh, nerve wracking, but um, it was cool to see you get through and, and uh, you know, what was it, T6, I think, was the finish? T6, yeah. So I was, I was three shots from first place, and I was one shot inside the number. So that just goes to show that there were eight players that were within four shots wow. of, of getting through. So pretty strong, pretty strong section for regards to players. So it's, mm -hmm. it's good to come from a strong section and also very excited to then step it up in the, the national competition as well. Yeah, so let's, let's get, get into that, those two rounds. So first day was the 24th of August. Um, this is at Stone Ridge golf course in Stillwater. It's a so, long day. Long day? Yeah. So, because that's right, we had the, the weather delay, we had, we had storms delay. that came in, and you guys, actually, was it a shotgun start? It was. I was supposed to tee off at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, we ended up, ended up being, I was supposed to be in the morning wave, but ended up, everyone's teed off at the exact same time, 1.30. Okay. So, we had a hundred and, a little over a hundred players and, and foursomes, so it was a long day. It was five and a half hour round of golf. It's kind of like a pro-am yeah. round of golf, so yeah. it was a long day. Um, and it was, you know, it got pretty hot warm and humid out after the rain. I, I suppose it would, yeah, that humidity kind of lingers after a storm comes through, especially if that sun peaks out after that. But so first day, kind of try and recap us a little bit what you did and maybe, you know, how you, what was good for you, what was bad for you. And then would you finish one under that day? So you're, I know I was, you, yeah. at the end of the day, you're kind of hovered right around that mark you need to be at. Yeah, I was, I was one under. So to start off the event, I birdied the first two holes. I actually started on hole, hole three. So it was a shotgun start. Okay. I birdied hole three and hole four. Hole four is a par five. It was my only birdie that I made in 36 holes on a par five. Wow. So I played the remaining seven par fives. I parred them all. So I was a little frustrated okay. there. Yeah. So right there is probably where I gave away the tournament. Yeah. But um, I played pretty solid. I said to my coach after the round, I was like, you know what? I left, I left a few shots out there, which I, which I did. It was wet. So we had a decent amount of rain. My strength of my game that day was my driving. Actually, my strength of my game was my driving all two rounds. Yeah. I didn't hit a ball OB. I didn't hit it in the hazard. There you go. I didn't have to chip out sideways. So that was uh So you're setting huge yourself up in good spots off the tee every time, which is going to help you. Uh, I mean that's the first step in any golf hole right. is, is getting off the tee successfully. So uh, I mean that's a great way to, to put together a good couple rounds. Yep. And it was an advantage too because I am a little I hit the ball a little further than some of the other section guys do. It was wet, so the first couple of holes, the ball was literally just stopping and plugging. Yeah. And for, for Stone Ridge, it's a very, very firm golf course normally. It drained exceptionally well. I think we were playing, if we were playing at any other golf course, we probably wouldn't have played that day. Really? We had, had a lot of, lot of rain. So the course was in excellent shape. Even with all that rain, the greens were extremely fast. Extremely fast. Yeah. So that was probably the thing that held me up all 36 holes was green reading on the greens. I did only have one three putt in all, th all 36 holes, okay. and that was when I had a straight downhill hole, and then I had a putt that literally did like this to me out of the oh. hole. So it was the only hole I had a three putt, and I missed one coming back. But my speed was just a little bit off. I was just a little bit tentative. And talking with my coach, we just, you know, we talked about it, you know, greens rolling at 14. I played, probably didn't quite play enough break, and I kind of had a lot dying under the hole. I'm used to playing a lot of break and dying on the top of the hole, and it was just the speed of the greens. I just didn't quite get right. Okay. I was probably playing a little conservative. Okay. And I think my scorecard shows that. I think yeah, even I mean, if you look at the scorecards, you made um, a ton of pars from the two days, especially on the second the day. The second made, day was made 15 uh, was pars in the yeah. second round. So um, to me, that screams you're hitting the ball off. I mean, and you said you hit the ball off the tee well. You're giving yourself good chances, and you just didn't quite capitalize on birdie putts the way I've seen you 
Uh, well, at least out here, I've seen you make those birdie putts. Yeah, it was, it, that's, that's a good summary. I had 28 putts the first day, which is pretty is pretty good consi mm. considering. And I had 32 putts the second day. Yeah, that's a pretty then, high number for yeah, me. Yeah, and I had a I had a lot of fairways and a lot of greens that that day, and it was some that were fairly close that I missed. I missed a couple of shorter ones yeah. that. But end of the day, I got through. That's that's really all that matters to right. me in, in the end. Yes, it would have been nice to to win and make more money and you know mm -hmm. have run run for the section player of the year event, but. I achieved my goal. Now I have some some time to really dial yeah. in my golf game and get ready for the the National Club Pro, which is going to be in April next year. Wow. Okay. So you have you have all that time then to kind of prepare. And one thing I wanted to ask you about too was mentally coming down the stretch. You know, you got the back nine, let's say, on your second round. Are you thinking about okay, this is where I'm at in the standings. This is where I need to get to, or anything like that? Because I, I would imagine based on how your scorecard looked. It was, I mean, the golf itself was kind of stress-free because you're hitting right. or hitting fairways, hitting greens, two putting for par a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, but are you thinking about where you're at in the standings and I got to get to here, or is that not even crossing your mind? I was, I was definitely thinking. You know, I feel like I was three or four shots. I felt like I was three or four shots away. I, I heard when I walked through the the eighth hole, the leader was at five under, and I was at one under at the time. Okay. So I, I knew I was a little bit behind. Um, and then once I just didn't make a couple more putts and. I was like, you know what, just just keep grinding, just keep grind, grind, grind. I think that's the one thing I did really well is, yeah. even though things weren't going my way, you know, all 36 holes, I hit a lot of good shots and just weren't making the putts. The fact that I could stay mentally strong, yeah. and I think it was great that I had my, my coach was caddying for me there too, and he was getting every shot at a time, which is one shot at a time. But boy, was I getting frustrated. Yeah. You know, deep down, I was frustrated, but I, I was just, just patient enough to get through that round. Right, right, yeah. which I know that's something we talked about in the first uh, episode of this where we were really talking about trying not to get too frustrated, making sure you're enjoying the game that you're out there. You're playing golf for a living, and you're doing a really good job of it as well. So now we talked, you mentioned a little bit, but next steps here. Um, so you've qualified. You've gotten to that next step of the National Club Pro Championship, which you said is in April. Yep. Um, what is kind of your, your plan of attack the next few months as you prepare for that? Yeah, so I so being September now, I'm gonna try and get through the rest of the Minnesota section season. Got a couple more events. I've got the section match play that I'm that I'm still in, and I got okay. a couple other events that I want to do well in. A couple of small programs left, but that dwindles down pretty fast. And then once October rolls around, it's when I'm gonna really kind of dive in and get back into like fitness tr mm -hmm. training as well. And I'm gonna work with my fitness trainer. We already kind of talked. Uh, exchange messages on a, on a good plan to put together. Uh, I think I can give myself a good five months there to really get my my body back in a, in a good position. Um, mentally, I, I still want to do some mental work because I know that's definitely one of the, the things that's held me back. And I think even just putting wise, it's just yeah. even still, I feel like I hit a lot of good putts so it didn't drop. I've just got to adjust and maybe not being so stubborn. It's probably the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very stubborn person. And now, so in terms of strengths, weaknesses of your game, do you think like putting is something you'll work on a lot? Um, up until then? Yeah, it would definitely be, be I'll still be fine tuning my uh, my stroke. My putter that I've got, uh, I switched from an Arnlot putter, mm -hmm. as we've kind of probably seen documented on the YouTube channel earlier this year. Uh, this putter definitely was never fit for me. It was literally just given to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. I wanted to go back to a, a standard link putter, so I didn't even know what the loft is on that. I just just wanted to kind of putt with it. It seemed like it said, okay, I don't know the lie angle. Yeah. So putter fitting be okay. be a huge thing for me. Uh, and working on on the stroke a little bit, getting it really dialed in. Um, so, and then you know, green reading is going to be important for me. That I'm going to make sure I get down there maybe a day or two early, yeah. and really get the greens figured out. That is one thing I was going to ask you too. Is in terms of, hey, do you know anything about this course at all? I don't know a single thing. Okay. I know, all I know is it's in Austin, Texas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As was, I mean, maybe a res resort course, but. Okay. Other than that, you don't really know. So you go, you go right. down there and you'll uh, prepare the way you would for an event. So yep, I'll play uh, two or three practice rounds. Right. Okay. And then top twenty is what you have to. Is that's the goal, or that's, is the goal? All the, the goal is to win. Right. right. The goal. Yeah. The goal to make sure that I play in the PGA Championship is to finish top twenty. But yeah, I I put in a really good strong winter. I, I know I'm I know I'm pretty 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 talented, and mm -hmm. I know I can pull off the little shots if I, if I need to. So. I really get myself in a good spot mentally, physically. I think I can contend to win. So I would love because there's definitely a lot of opportunities. If you if you actually win the National Club Pro, you get to play in a few PGA Tour events. Yeah. So I mean, there's That'd other cool. opportunities there too. But yeah, goal is for sure playing the PGA Championship in 2022. 
Yeah, for sure. And it, it's going to be fun to, to follow along. And I will say too, I, you've gotten a ton of support from viewers, um, you know, on our, on our channel. Uh, a lot of good wishes there from them. So that, that's been fun to follow and we've it's, been tracking those too. Yeah, it's been really exciting, even like responding to the comments as well. Like it, it's, uh, it's, it's been overwhelming actually, yeah. um, seeing how many views that the, the, the videos are getting and how much support that I have. So really do appreciate all everyone that's watched and continue to watch and hopefully stay tuned because this is gonna be an exciting series. Yeah, so kind of, uh, once again, if you're just tuning in, this is the first one that you're seeing. Uh, this is kind of the all access look at Thomas Campbell's uh, attempt to qualify for the PGA Championship in 2022. Off to a good start, step number one complete, and now we get to see kind of the fall into winter and into the spring, what Thomas is going to do uh, to achieve that next step uh, in qualifying for it and finishing top 20, the National Club Pro Championship. So Thomas, I'll let you get back to your practice here. Um, Sounds good. But, I'm gonna um, be working really hard. I'm gonna be working hard at short game, but even winter time, in Minnesota, it's going to be a lot of technique stuff, and then yeah. I'll gradually move our way into more short game mode and, and play mode. I might try and pick up an event in February or March to go play in. But gotcha. Minnesota is going to be a lot of grinding inside, and I'll be working on a project there too. So There you go. All right, well, stay tuned for that little uh, teaser from Thomas. But uh, viewers, thank you for watching, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel, and also like this video and drop a comment as well. Uh, for more best wishes for Thomas, um, we're all rooting for you, Thomas. So uh, good luck, and again, get back to your practice here. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for staying tuned.